Good evening to all sports lovers and the rest. When you appear up in the sports, we will never forget you. Uh, it's the festive season, and as the, you all prepare for your festivities, uh, sports sadly never stops for any festive season. festive I hope may recognize. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's, it's a very busy. Uh, it's, it's December is always a, it's always a busy schedule. Uh, games are always aligned so many, and this one is even. There are so many games that are aligned, and uh, there are so many things to talk about. But let's just start with what we know. First of all, I am Eddie Ogoe, and welcome to Sports Friday. Joined on me on set, Nikona, a few of my analysts will be helping me get down and break down each and everything. That in Fanika Hiwiki in sports. On my find, Nikona Edgar Buire, and near me, I have Brian Mushiri. Those are my two analysts on Yota Kona and Kun. Again, break down each and everything. Now, let's start with the rugby. Now, the seventh series kicked off, and, and so, or sadly, unfortunately, uh, it didn't start well with our boys. But the rugby sevens coach, uh, the rugby sevens coach uh, said to ring changes in the in the team. The Kenya sevens coach Paul Feeney promised to adapt some new defensive and attacking strategies ahead of their clashes against Samoa, Australia, and Ireland in Pool D. Clash at South Africa sevens that was scheduled to kick off today in Cape Town. Kenya finished 13th in Dubai after edging out Scotland 24-14 in the playoffs. They had previously lost all their pool stages matches, fail, falling 17-12 to South Africa. 12-5 to England and 22-19 to Spain. However, Feine was in praise of the charges despite the outcome in Dubai 7, saying that the team that had shown some complete def uh, effective in their, ch in their playing and explained that they are working on the team's attacking, which proves to be sluggish, giving their opponents advantage each and every time. Samoa, Australia, and Ireland, Ireland and Kenya make Pool D, which will kick off today on the men's competition on fr uh, this, fr uh, this Friday opening between Australia and Ireland, which is the first game. Now, guys, I, I am sure you've been following the seven series to this point. And uh, you watched our first, uh, the, the first, the first one which happened in Dubai, which was really, really terrible. I actually felt so bad watching it. But the, the, the team really did impress me in their last match. But even so, looking at the team, what did you think? Was there changes? Did you feel any effect to the new coach uh, that the new coach has brought to the team? Um, well, for this one, I think it, it was hard for everyone. Nobody quite knew what, what we were expecting. But let me just talk about probably um, it takes time for us to be able to incorporate the old players and the new players. That kind of mixture, because of our lack of systems, that kind of uh, mixture enables it, uh, it at Sumbua Kidogo as we, as we grow up the ladder in the HSBC World Series. That might take a while, but uh, remember, this is a big league. You don't have enough time to do that. You always have to adapt really, really fast. But uh, I think that was just a, a slow kind of sluggish start, but we should be able to pick ourselves up in South Africa. Well, uh, uh, Edgar, uh, the, the coach has actually said that uh, one of the problems that we have in our national team is the fact that uh, our team has a sluggish response to, 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 win, to the attack. And uh, most of the time, in a opponent's way to advantage because Abu wana juatu vizuri atuna yo ya tuko tuna jipik vi pole pole. Woki angalia uliona yo tunde likuwa shidetu peketo peke yake ama kulikuwa na other problems that we should deal with as we go to Cape Town. Okay, looking at that team, ndio the, there was sluggish in attack, but also wajua ukiwa na ile sluggish pale kwa attack, niliona pia kulikuwa na shida na huku kwa mabeki. Hivyo basi wakiweza ku wakiweza ku improve in the attack na defense basi watakuwa tu sawa na. Well I do agree with the coach that the team was a bit sluggish as I when I watched the game if there's one thing that I actually recognized was the fact that they were very slow in so many areas that sometimes it actually felt like they didn't even want to play but eventually they just picked up and then continued and continued and continued but all in all we hope all turns out well as the coach sets to bring on new changes to the team and we hope that Cape Town will be a very different case in uh, regards to their playing considering the fact that the first one was a little bit um, well I would say disappointing but then again we wish the team well and we hope that they will do better in Cape Town now moving on still on national team Zico still takes charge in Kim, uh, as Kimanzi in Kimanzi's absence as stars face Zanzibar now defending champions Kenya take on Zanzibar in their final group B match at the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup Saturday afternoon at the Lugago Stadium in Kampala the two teams met in the final of the same tournament in 2017 in the Kenyatta Stadium in Machakos with Zanzibar stretching the host to the limit in a game that Kenya won 3-2 
post-match penalties having settled on a 2-2 draw on regular time. Head coach Francis Kimanzi completes his two-match suspension on Saturday and will be back for the semi-final. Stars assistant Zedekaya Zico Otieno will take charge of the second time following Monday's decision by the tournament organizers to slap Kenya Francis Kimanzi with a two-match ban. Now, guys, uh, if there's one thing... Uh, uh, <laughs> Niliskia, the, 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 the accusation that was put against Kimanzi. Now, I really, really struggled to understand why Kimanzi did the things that was, were alleged yeah. Alifanya. Because I, I, I really failed to understand why Ali Lokin players kwa, kwa, kwa dressing room, even one. And then two, <laughs> kwa nini alikimbiza kurefari kwa, kwa, kwa tunnel. Isn't it to be this year, kwa nini alidu? Uh, I, have not, I have not yet heard his statement in response to that. But then again, I actually assume that him, okay, He's a very sober man, so I'm not sure how to find out of Even the experience, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I, it, it was a new one for me. I don't mean, like, when I was in I it's Francis Kimanzi, uh, arguably Kenya's best coach. Uh, you don't know why he would do that. But may I look at him, and uh, I, I'd feel he's, he's an experienced man. He should be, I think uh, he ought to have done it off, off something. Lazma kukwe ni kitu ili mfanya hivyo. But still, um, your experience should be able to dictate. Amen. Because me, I, I would say, I would say, I mean, I, I agree with tactics. I know, I know their tactics. Na kuna zingine zinakwaga ni off pitch tactics, but this one was just insane. I'm over of Kenya. Okay, Francis Kimanzi is a coach that is very much experienced. Kando na kuwa coach wa Rambesta sa me coach by the available vikubo munchini. Ivo basi unapo tu chukulia kwa mfano Jose Mourinho kando na ye kuwa coach wa pale katika kiwanja vile vile anakuwa na madrama zingine nje ya uwanja nikidhani Francis Kimanzi ni kocha ambaye maybe amesoma the tactics za Mourinho anamuiga <laughs> Uh, I, but anyway, kudos to our ambassadors. Uh, they, they, they have been playing well. Mm -hmm. uh, they have gone on to win all their both matches in group, uh, in the, in the group B. In the group B, and they're playing the final game tomorrow, which is not really necessary because technically already, speaking, they've already qualified. They've already qualified. So, how do you see us faring forward? Do I you mean, see? Do, do you see the team even strong enough to actually retain the trophy, or do you see us losing it? No, we could retain the trophy. I mean, Sekafa to Mazoe, what na shinda shinda marakada. You what na shinda shinda marakada. So also looking at uh, Zico, he's an amazing guy. Got yes. to interact with him during the Afcon Championships. Yes, and, and he has vast experience. Yes, has vast experience. He's coached a couple of clubs here True. in Kenya as well, even outside the country a bit. And uh, he, I think we should be able. We have the depth uh, for this one. I saw a couple of new faces, some youngsters here and there, probably okay. giving them some international experience. Yes, which is good for them. Yes, Bandari is Hassan. He, he was Hassan. It was Hassan Abdallah, I believe. Yes. He's very, he's been very, he's been uh, amazing. wow, the winger has been chair. doing things that I've, I mean, when you're impressed. But then again, I, I feel you have something to say on this one. Mimi, kitu ambacho nataka kusema, mtu moja kiondoka, weo ukija kuchukua vya tuvi yake na fao fanya kweli kuonyesha dunia kwamba unaweza hiyo kazi. Hivyo basi na, na feel kwamba Zico uh, will be there to send a message, a strong message, na, na tumai kwamba, but I don't, I don't see that Zico has really that much pressure on him, considering the fact that, of course, yes, coach Atakua, yeah, but then again, the tactics is in Atoka took from the same, same person, the, the, the idea is still from the same, same person. So I think here, yeah, Kotua Potuku, like, implement. Yeah, I think you just go to to the dressing room and talk to the boys. Okay, yes. Vijana, venye tu tumekua tukifanya. Ama fanya venye wenga alifanya gele siku, alichukua tu simu tu nakapiga rosafi. Wea, bio mtu atole. But then again, it's sports. That was just too bit more. Ah, we have a lot happens in sports. Yeah. So yeah, that that one says it's too Now. Moving on swiftly uh, to the next story, uh, we go to international story. Now, Russia is not happy with WADA after being banned for doping. Not a surprise for me, but then again, what can I say? Now, the World Anti-Doping Agency on Monday banned Russia for four years from major global sporting events including 2020 Tokyo Olympics and 2020 World Cup in Qatar over manipulated doping data. The toughest ever sanction imposed on Russia state authorities will see government officials barred from attending any major events while the country will lose their rights to host or bid for the tournament. Russia will still be allowed to compete in the qualifiers for the 2020 foot, uh, Football World Cup, but WADA Director General Olivia Nigel added that sh should they progress to the finals in Qatar, the team there will not be representing the Russian Federation. However, Russia participation in the 2020 and uh, St. Petersburg host 
2020 Euro and the St. Petersburg hosting for the four matches is not affected by the ban because it is not defined as a major event in the anti-doping process. Uh, Rasuda, Russia's anti-doping agency supervisory board is set to meet on December 19th to take on decisions whether to appeal against the ban to the court of arbitration or not. Now, this is not the first time uh, Russia is being banned. I think to some extent it's, it's becoming like a, a melody. But mm -hmm. le let, me, let me look at it this way. One, if they are Kama kuna watu kwa yu country wata participate kwa any uh, event that is underwater, mm -hmm. uh, they cannot compete as Russians. They will compete as the neutrals. Yeah. Yeah. I hear them calling them neutrals. Yeah. So, even if Russia qualifies <laughs> for the World Cup, yeah. Russia, ita kwa inito a Russia, their flag will not be raised, their national anthem will oh. not be played. <laughs> so, wow. they will not be playing as Russia. So, guys, when you look at this, do you think it's about time that, okay, be, because me, I was looking at it in the perspective that as Kenyans, we also should really take serious consideration to these things because CCP at Chagongo and Avitus are doping. So, yeah. We really, where, where do you see us going with this? I mean, seriously. I, I take you back to yesterday at uh, Nyayo. Yes. When we had these two little children, a lady and a gen from, uh, I think, Langata Primary, who had a nice poem about corruption in front of His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta. Uh -huh. And uh, it got to a point, and this matter on corruption, I'm just trying to bring it on board with, with this. Yeah. This matter on corruption talks about if you crack the whip on a big fish, guys will tow the line. Edwe, wewe kaweza kuja ucharazo hapa. Sisi wewe jama mwenye kucharaza symptoms sikiza, akisema jump, tuta jump, akisema Hata mwenye anakuja next cause atafuata vizuri eh, sana. Sisi what is because you're bigger than us at this point in time, you are a host. True. So what you see with Russia is just an explanation of what Wada can do to anyone. And eh, because remember, this, this is, is Russia. Russia, it's a superpower. <laughs> yes. We are Kenya. We are, okay, we are trying, we can see ourselves Not we are trying but I mean Russia, Kenya. Kenya. You know, yeah. Yeah. It's evident. <laughs> but then again, I, yeah, kuna kitu ngine tani liangalia. I, I look at the regulations. I mean, one, it's, this is not just affecting the athletes. But this is not the first time that Russia wamekwa banned. The first time wali kwa banned, wali suspend the Rasuda, the Russian anti-doping agency, wali suspend and wakandi kaniwan just to show that they are serious about it. But eventually, we are still back to the same case, same old case. Now, me, personally, I feel that this is very disappointing. The Russian government has come back and they have really, really expressed their emotions. Mbaka officials, wow, mbaka government officials wa mambuwa skatoke kwa hizo events, sale Russia wanapati. So imagine national team ya Russia kicheza flag hezi reziwa, national team hezi playiwa, na official union government hezi kaonekana kwa hiyo stadium. Just to show that he is not representing Russia. Any attachment to Russia is not allowed. Uh, okay. Uh, Mina Dani, uh, Warda is there to send a message, a strong message that uh, every sport lazima more than a discipline. Without discipline, hakuna place unaweza enda. Sami ni kidhani kitu cha muhimu hapa ni ile nidhamu ambayo rather inajaribu kutuma katika ulimwangu mzima. Whether you are who or who Discipline first. Yani umei director slate. Kama wei ni nani ya manani. That is very interesting. Uh, okay, now it's very interesting uh, when we talk about sports. But then again, isn't it of the sports? Now this week has been a very entertaining week in terms of football. We have had the Champions League, the Europa League, and they were all out of this world. I mean, the expectations. What wali poteza ma bet, bet ziliungua. But... Let's get down to it now. We first start with the Champions League. Now, the Champions League was very entertaining this week. Guys, game gani liwa shtiwa kwa all of the Champions League matches? Let's start with that one. I would really like to start with that question. Ajax Valencia. Ajax Valencia. Yako ilikuwa ni gani? Mimi yanye linishtuwa ni Real Madrid. I mean, hawa watu, sale muna expect igi wapaform. Nyo na wangusha. Halafu, sale muna expect wapaform. Boom, no, they are back. Yeah. Tenno Akiwa away. But then again, it was a very interesting Champions League. Uh, team Mingiz Ilitoka, teams that I really didn't expect if I could have the f tables up, maybe. But some teams that uh, were left are teams like Napoli, Izoni teams in Ilitoka that, man, uh, to the extent Maka Kocha Kavutu Akazi, this is... Yeah. Now, as we look at the group stages, uh, PSG and Real Madrid will make it through. So, Club Bruges and Galatasaray off to Europa. Bayern Munich and Tottenham, Olympiakos and Caravan, Ii night will expect it akwa tuivi. Ata ya kwanza. So he he met our expectations zetu. He met our expectations zetu. Going down, uh, Man City. City when go through Atlanta, Shakhtar Donetsk, and then Zagreb. He na to expect because to be expected Shakhtar to take Shakhtar at home are very dangerous. But this time when we go to Nyoroshon Nyumbani, it's never happened before. And then we go to Juventus, Atletico Madrid, going through, leaving out Bayern Leverkusen and Lokomotiv Moscow. 
Wait, is this Bayern Leverkusen? Yeah. Yes, Bayern Leverkusen, Bayern Leverkusen. Lokomotiv Moscow. And um, I, when I look at this, it was very interesting because Nilikuwa Nangaliadi points is Nilikuwa different. Now, uh, on the other group, Liverpool, Liverpool and Napoli went through. Red Bull and Jenk, <laughs> bye-bye. Uh, off to Europa. Barcelona and Dortmund, Walienda through. Inter Milan, Salvia Pra. Back now, Inter Milan. Before I even continue, Inter Milan, I think, was the shocker of the of the of the group because they were looking so well. In fact, me me kuna point wale kama fika me ni lukona. Kama ni Inter na Barcelona and Dota Peter. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, kaboom, things change. But they may win. They might win Europa. They might win Europa if they go to Europa. Yeah. Well, they do have the squad that much. I do agree. But then again, when I think about it, when Lukaku this team, is on fire. when these big teams, okay, Lukaku is on fire. No, but Lukaku is just proving he's making a statement against Manchester. But then again, when they come to this, Nini, in Akoga, different. Moving on, Leipzig na Lyon, Walingia, Benfica na Zenit. I think this was the hardest group ever. Mimi niliangali yeah. group na group ilikongomo because he group auko na jata team gani ndio kubwa. Chelsea and Valencia only make it through. Valencia taking on top of the table. Chelsea taking say. And this difference. was very interesting because Valencia will kwasha qualify tayari. Eh game ya mwisho bado kanyoroshwa. Ajax wakashinda. Me game, me and your football. Football in a very very unfair. Game. unfair. But uh, it was a very interesting game. Uh, I I watched the Valencia na 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 Ajax kidogo. I actually I actually enjoyed it. It was a it was a ilikuwa ni shuka tu pande game like a bolly kuna tulian. And uh, the results were like this: Red Bull uh, versus Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool won two 0 I remember Ion Iliona because I think Salah scored. Yes, yeah, Salah. Salah scored. Um, and it was Ani. Anyway, moving on. Chelsea and Lille. Chelsea won two one. Uh, Lyon. Yeah, Chelsea looked interesting because at some point, Lille looked like Chelsea were in a question. And then kaboom, eh, they came back. Know, yeah. And then Lyon versus Leipzig. Uh, Lyon went on uh, while it draw. It went on a two two draw. Ajax versus Valencia. After the red card, things went sour for Valencia, but still, they managed to win one nil against Ajax. Uh, Shakhtar Donetsk versus Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta won three nil. Real Madrid versus Club Brugge. Uh, Real Madrid won three one. This this was a shocker for me because Mimi ni i kama ni gamba liwa siku ni ngeki Real. If I would again me sio kila mtu mm -hmm. now bayern versus juventus juventus won, went on to win 2 nil olympiakos versus caravan olympiakos won 1-0. Uh, Napoli won 4-0 against Jenk Dortmund, had a record but still managed to beat Sla Salvia Pra 2-1. Benfica versus Zenit after Zenit, the, hey, well, man, my red card is two mm -hmm. Benfica won 3-0 and then Inter Milan lost to Barcelona 2-1. Then Zagreb versus Manchester City, it was 4-1, Manchester City taking it home. Atletico Madrid beat Lokomotiv Moscow 2-0, PSG won 5-0. That was like a very bad horror movie. And then Tottenham Bayern versus Tottenham, well, I would say this one me actually expected it to end exactly like this 3-1. Okay, why? For many reasons. Now, Tottenham are good. Yeah. I, I don't deny that. I mean they have the squad, mm -hmm. they have the depth. But I don't really think Mourinho still has his Champions League squad. He has his Premier League squad, but mm -hmm. he doesn't have his Champions League squad. And Anna Jarebuku to buy his Premier League squad to the Champions League, and sometimes that doesn't always work. Because Tottenham might not quite have the depth. Exactly. To to to, to play up well exactly. in, the, in the English Kuku. Premier League and also uh, UEFA. The same, same squad. You can have both, both guys. Same thing that might, might uh, cut a Chelsea. At, uh, by that, Man City. Man City has to say that she's going to get a good deal. Brayo, Brayo, Papa Mishiri has stopped something. <laughs> <laughs> unajua, <laughs> unajua Chelsea, Chelsea ni timu ambayo imefanya vizuri na hawa watoto lakini tunashukuru wameweza kuupliftua hiyo ban January wataweza kununua. Kama watoto wangeenda mpaka mwisho wa season, Chelsea yeah. haongekuwa ha na uwezo. Kwa nini? Hawa ni watoto wenye hawana experience. Watoto mm. wanacheza Champions League, wakuja wacheze FA, wakuja wacheze Premier League at the end of the day the kids will be tired. So let us okay there's another first that I wanted to look at. Uh, Liverpool are leading in the Premier League. Liverpool are leading kwa I mean wako kwa Champions wako kwa Champions League still. Mm. Uh, FA is coming up in January of course in mm. Anzaga to January. Now we also have another problem for Liverpool as they are going to play the Club World Cup. Yeah. Now this is another fixture that is going to add fixtures on top of fixtures called Liverpool. Do you still see Liverpool retaining the number 1 position considering the fact that this is not the first time that they have been leading in the table? Especially na hizo point mingi hivo and still went on to lose it. Yes, I think they will. I think, I don't know, I, there's just something about this season with Liverpool. First of all, they are too lucky. 
Yeah, exactly. That's, I was, I was saying the lack is 100% on their side. Like, VR is on their side. Like, VR is on their side. VR, VR, you, you, remember the, you remember that season that Manchester Lishindaga season on Mawan Nil? Mawan Nil, Mawan Nil, Mawan Nil, Mawan Nil. When Lack was yeah. just completely on their side. Yeah. This it feels happens, like Liverpool. It happens. <laughs> there, are, there are those seasons that you just get that. It's uh, purely la- they're, they're, they're good. They're very good. You have Firmino and uh, Kupres, Mbaka. You have to make a, a, an error as a defender. You have Salah, you have Mane, Akina Fabinho, Uku, na, na Bikeita and all that. Akina Trent Alexander Arnold, Wakimekizo Maran. But on top of it all, on top of being good, they are lucky. One okay. thing I would say about Liverpool. Oh, you want? Okay. Yeah, yes, I want to add something. Unajua apo italingana na kocha. Iwapo Klopp atakuwa mjanja. Unajua kuna wakati sa Alex Ferguson ni manager ambaye mimi namkubali sana. Alikuwa akiwa kwa competitions mingi, alikuwa anawapatia watoto fursa. Na Klopp naye hawapati watoto fursa. Utapata wanacheza na klabu ndogo lakini utapata tu maana no, sana. But, 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 but at some at, at some extent you actually should look at this in this perspective. One Klopp ako na anaenda kucheza club World Cup. Hajai cheza club World Cup. So this is his first club World Cup. And yeah. kwa hiyo squad yake yote hakuna mtasheshi na club World Cup. So this is a trophy that no one has. Yeah. In that in that old stuff from Mela. Yeah. So they want that club World Cup. Me get. Okay. Uh, that is one. So there is no way ataenda kucheza shot watoto kwa club World Cup. Yeah. Now two. Akichezesha kwa watoto Haikuwagi shida. Shida ni achezesha watoto alafu watoto wa shindwe. Watu nasema gaje, mbono lipumzisha watu, ukachezesha watu. Because mimi kwa Premier League, the one thing I've always understood is watu nasema gaje, ukicheza na Stoke, amu ucheza na Sjui, na, 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 na Sheffield United, nuna enda kucheza na Manchester United next week. Eka full squad hii game ya Sheffield, mm. wa shinde. Julia ya Manchester United, ato kipumzisha wa mapilwa big, it's not guaranteed wana enda kushinda. Kwa na points bado ni tatu. No one cares. Yeah. Game ya pride ilisha. But all in all, I think it's about time Klopp and the corrupted squad properly yeah, sure. although ni mona to some extent ameanza because ame kwa forced to with injuries yeah. but this is something that he should have foreseen considering the fact that salana akina mane hawajaenda injury for a very long time all watu kuna fatigue tu inaongoja tu kutafuta injury yeah, sure. but all in all uh, liverpool is liverpool and klopp will always be klopp so let's not be surprised now moving on to the europa league which actually really really shocked me uh, last there's night that, there's that competition <laughs> yes yes europa league can, na, we, can na, we invite the reggae guys for eh, in, for, in a competition in a competition in a competition yetu na in a competition yetu na struggle to wala kwa dj tv to say what dobo mkuja we discuss now hiyo competition at you mate an in <laughs> now, okay. as I continue, uh-huh. ini trophy yenye watu wengine washaicheza na kashindwa kushinda although sasa hivi wanaongea ni kama yani hao mabingo wameshinda kila wakati wamecheza. Europa League. Uh-huh. Arsenal played last night, Manchester United played last night. Arsenal went on to draw 2-2 on a game that actually felt like Arsenal were about to lose as they were 2-0 down only to come back from Alexander Lacazette equalizer and went on to win through a very 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 unique and special goal from Saka. Yes. I said Sakam. Now, it was a very interesting game, guys. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys watch it. And uh, Martins in Ichujua, as you can see, Rangers went on to with young boys. Wakatoka 1 1. Porto went on to Walishinda 3 2 against Feynud. This one I didn't expect it. This one I actually hoped that Feynud, because Porto walianza kufunga boya kwanza, wakafunga pili, Feynud wakarudisha moja, and then Feynud wakafunga ya pili, mm. and then Porto wakenda wakafunga ya tatu. So at some point ilifili ni kama poto liku anda kushinda. Mm, no. Espanyol vs CSK Moscow. CSK Moscow alishinda away. Uh, Ludgoretz walishindwa na final covers. Alafu Wolfsburg vs 1-0 vs St. Etienne walishinda. Gent, this one I knew was going to end up like mm-hmm. this. I think most people did. But this one shocked the world. Ban Mo- <laughs> Mokelberg. I out wako na mga pisa kwa ligi yao. <laughs> Borussia Mokelberg wako na mga kwa ligi yao. Blackback. Uh, wako kwa namba kaz. Ni saba. Ni saba wama namba moja. Eh. Hey. Wako namba wano kwa ligi yao. These guys are top of the league in Germany. Ay, These guys yeah. wali nyorosha Bayern Munich kama watu hii. Went on kuchapo hill na Istanbul latimate. Oh my god. This one was the shock of the night. And then Roma versus Wolfsburg. Na ini ilo Wolfsburg ya nini? Ini Wolfsburg ya Australia, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Wolves went on to win 4-0. I don't know, I'm a confirm. Kuchapa mm. Besiktas 4-0. Hii ndio timu ina inaweza kachukua Europa. Manchester United versus uh, Alkamar walishinda 4-0 and then kuna Braga walishinda 4-2. Uh, Partizan walishinda versus Astana and then uh, oh, Apoel walishinda 1-0 versus Sevilla. I think this was also a shocker because yeah. I mean Apoel good but still this is Sevilla. Yeah. Karabag versus 1-1, I will end 1-1 versus Dundee and then Copenhagen 1 uh, uh, Malmo wakashiwali. Oh, Malmo ilichapa Copenhagen. Hii siku 
Juang. Yeah. And then Dynamo, Dynamo Kiev versus Lugano. Wali draw 1 1 Basel walishinda 2 2 nil versus Strasbourg. Hizi majina ni ngumu so nikizi pronounce kama venye ungetarajia ni samehe. And then Getafe versus Carasoda uh, walishinda 3 nil. Getafe. Heta, you know it's Spanish. So Getafe. Oh, Getafe. Yeah. Getafe. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> Yes, uh, last so, versus sporting, last was was sporting CP <laughs> then PSV wakashinda 1 1 versus Rosenberg CFRC yo wali chap wali Celtic <laughs> 2 nil i think this was a shocker because Celtic mm. when we how they lose I any mean, home game at yeah. the moment Rennes versus Lazio walishinda 2 nil Standard Lieg versus Arsenal as wali draw 2 2 Frankfurt versus Victoria walishindwa 3 2 now I think that was very interesting for Europa, and we really yeah. hope that uh, me, me, me. I hope the English teams in the Lekoka because English team, I think that the only teams in Afanya Gasa on Naga Europa, True. at least here in Kenya, here in Kenya. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But all in all, it was a very entertaining. Uh, there were very entertaining games. Yes. I took expect Manchester to Afanya, but then again, Greenwood, <laughs> Greenwood. Yeah. I see that boy. Now moving on, this weekend promises for some very, 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 very entertaining fixtures in the English Premier League. One of them being Arsenal versus Manchester City. But let's check out the fixture. You guys, Mulukom Naju Arsenal on today weekend, isn't it? Now, one of the players that I'm on Galileo Sana is Ozil. Ozil throughout his season I'm on Galileo for many different reasons. One, Ali Ibiwa, Akasevi Wananani. Alafu <laughs> tu akachujwa akakuwa na shida na unai na sasa yeye ameanza kukuanika aka save ya tena mm. ndio yamerudi at least game ya Arsenal sikizi kona flow atuchezi tu ile tuf Boom. David Luiz cool. Cool. Tuff, auto search au bomba yangu <laughs> oh, auto search uh, anyway it is Arsenal versus Manchester City head to head now what do you guys see about this game i think this is the biggest game no, this weekend uh, except for yeah. the fact that Manchester United wants an Everton which Again, it's another big game, I remember, mm -hmm. right? Yes. But let's talk about this one first. Arsenal versus Manchester City. We're talking of, and you, you mentioned that a game in Ezra Stuart. True, yes. Very, very, very in Ezra Stuart. City's defense in shambles. Uh, Arsenal are trying to redeem themselves. I think you have a squad that had, play, had a manager that they didn't like. Now they're trying to make it look like the manager and Yoliko Ashida na C players. So that, that's your take on that, that, that's his take. <laughs> that is not the gospel truth. <laughs> that is take as an analyst. <laughs> okay. I'll talk about this game in two perspectives. One as an analyst, two as a fan. As a Chelsea uh, fan. No, not as a Chelsea fan. Two Come on, talk about Okay, to become analyst. Come on, analyst. I'm seeing this game end in a draw. Uh -huh. Why? Because Arsenal, Man City, Man City have not been in a very good form in the Premier League. I'm at Potesia Bet Kada. I'm at Potesia Bet Kada. Now, Kiangali Arsenal ni team ambayo I'm in Potesia. I'm coach. I saw you coach Ambaya. I'm Kujia and Jeribuku. Kutengenezele squadi. So, so. As an analyst, he gave me tender draw. Lakini, as a gambler, as a gambler, Man City kichwa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's how I take it. Arsenal have these choices. One, it depends all in the defense that they put in because one thing that was proven through the Champions League, uh, Europa League, was the fact that David Luiz cannot defend. At least that was my take. <laughs> and uh, another thing was in the fact that if Martinelli starts, because the boy has shown some proven techniques that one would argue it would be a critical mistake to leave him out of the first 11. Mm. Now, before people would question why Unai Emery would start with Saka and leave Martinelli out, seeing what the boy has done in every game that he has started, he has scored. Seven goals in seven starts. You have to give credit to that. I think right now, if there's one youngster that is performing just as good, would be Abraham and Greenwood. Yeah. Abraham say I first lane, so we don't call him youngster anymore. So let's just say <laughs> Mount and Greenwood. I don't know player in Ezekiel put in that category. But even so, if there's one thing that we actually have to look at when it comes to the Arsenal game, it's how or whether if or should I say if they can hold the ball. Because Arsenal wamekuwa na shida tu moja ever since Lumbag took charge. Was conceding early. So, mm. oh, let me say shida mbili. Conceding early and failing to keep possession. That has been a problem. They do not know how to keep possession. Personally, me, I felt Basically, like Lumbag... Basically, it looks like settling. Yes. Settle. Lumbag needs to call Wenger amulize tactics zake za kufanya hivo. Possession. Eh, ilikuwa kuina fanyikaje. And then from there, I implement through his own strategies. But all in all, me personally, I feel the game will end in a draw because this is one game that Arsenal do not want to lose. And 
at the moment Manchester City are not in their best shape ever so if there's a time to beat Manchester City I would say it would be right now so if this is a proving game <laughs> and it's a game that will but you do have to consider the fact that Unai Akona games in a critical yeah. I mean um, Lumbag. Lumbag Akona game critical than his Copa Bell he has to play Chelsea he has to play Everton and then on first he still has to play Manchester United yeah it's a busy schedule busy, busy schedule for him yeah but <laughs> on a light note you all need to go and look at uh, Eric Omondi's handle on this video uh, if Eric Omondi ange kwaneza kwa uchisho tumeoneza mtu zenye umefanya kwa Manchester United na venye umetufanyia kwa Arsenal we appreciate the jokes <laughs> Eric Omondi is my friend auto ongea back we appreciate the jokes no no and they are very funny hata mimi nilicheka na mimi fanwa Sunday yeye hata mimi nilicheka na mimi for auto ni na Mount Sinai kwa Mount Sinai kwa ah it's been a very fun uh, it's been very fun actually bringing all the sports news to you guys and we really really hope as you get into your busy fixture uh, christmas schedule please drink responsibly stay safe and always always find a better drinking buddy <laughs> Not that Eddie. is my that is my best advice. Eddie was my drinking buddy in the middle of the month of the, in the middle of the year. I tell wow, you right wow, now. Wow wow wow. Ukienda kuona mpira, ukienda kwa club, buddy, not find Eddie. a better what? drinking buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you do not use him. Eddie anaweza fanya mfukuzi kwa club. Take me in January tarehe mbili hiyo ni uongo. I never I have never partied with this man. Never been party at a party with Eddie. All in all, uh kwa nyana penda reggae. It is coming up. Island vibes mbona akiji prepare so for the regular lovers please stay tuned there's more to come and i promise you they have so much good things in store for you guys from us to you is goodbye and we really 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 hope to see you again here next friday on set with me has been edgar buire brand mushiri and of course i have been your host edio goe and from us to you is bye bye and see you all next friday